awesome people, Skylark here, and welcome to Planet Base. New game. Class D planet. Random spot. Yes, this game we build a base on a foreign world. Class D planets are medium-sized desert planets with a thick CO2 atmosphere, which partially protects it from meteors and solar flares. Uh, high amount of light, high density for atmosphere and high sandstorm risk. Uh, I'll just keep the base name, whatever. Start the game. So if you don't know, I am highly enthused about space activities and such. Oh boy. I don't like the looks of this already. I'm highly enthused, enthused about space activities. I think everything's oh so neat. But... For our first settlers, we should have, I believe, seven settlers and two robots. Uh, three workers, two botanists, an engineer, and a medic. And then a carrier bot and a constructor bot. There we go. First, let's take a quick look around, see what we're working with with the terrain. I'm pretty sure I can expand over here. I don't know. Let's just... Hmm... I don't want to build things too far away. If we can span across here, that would be kind of ideal. We can do kind of a linear style base. So, first things we need. We need to build uh, some way to create power. So we're going to stick a power collector probably right there. We need to build... Uh, something way to actually... Come on, I saw a green arrow. Pick those two up. We need to also build... I want to put my base and airlock and stuff over here. So I'm just going to extend the range with a base pad. I want to keep everything close. Now we actually need to work on the interior structure. So, let's start with an airlock. Those two up. Gonna need an oxygen, some way to get oxygen. So let's extend this way, link these two. Beautiful. Now we get into actual kind of base design and stuff once we have these basic things. We also need, well, first they need to get built, so we'll just let that keep going. Here, we're going to need water for our oxygen extractor to convert into oxygen by electrolysis. So we'll link those. Everybody's working real hard here. Okay, not seeing... everything's going nice and smooth. This game is highly unrealistic, assuming this is kind of like a... Uh, Mars analog. Uh, after taking graduate level courses in extraterrestrial resources, I can indeed confirm several things that are, you know, highly high fantasy about this game. But if you were to go the realism approach, you probably wouldn't have a very good game. Uh, you'd mainly be working with, say, kind of subterranean under the surface, you'd cover this with regolith, you'd dig it out with uh, some sort of robotic digger, layer base in, cover it with regolith, and that regolith would provide several things. It would provide radiation protection. Quit standing around, you're just like, you, can, you have things to do, probably. Stuff to carry. You definitely have stuff to build. Anyway, the regolith would provide radiation protection and thermal protection. You would, well, I mean, this is obviously so you can see how much power is in it, but you'd have batteries that are quite possibly made with local resources, depending on how rich things are. Pro the space would probably be built, well, potentially near the poles. Oh, we almost got power. Near the poles, uh, especially on tidally locked bodies like the moon. Uh, not only is there water there, but untidally locked bodies, as in they, uh... Oh, come 
Come on, build your stuff. Hurry up, guy. Yeah, entirely locked bodies. They don't face this or spin, you know, in a in a nice, quick manner, and therefore have very long days. How's everybody doing here? This, of course, needs good. That should be enough power to get us through the night. Next thing to build, or to queue up here. I am first off going to build, and this probably isn't the world's, whoa, hello, frame rate. I'm going to build a large storage right off the bat. Uh, probably not the best move, honestly, but I want this nice and close to the door. And then from there, we're going to kind of break things out a little bit. We're going to need a place for our people to eat and sleep. And let's see, can I... Let me get that nice and close. Hopefully that's the right angle. Looks pretty close. So these guys need oxygen, but they probably aren't critical right now. Next thing I need... So I have the canteen. I have storage queued. I need some way to, prov uh, to make food. And we brought some food with us. So I'm going to build another, I'm going to build a medium biodome right here. Try and line this all up so everything's nice and square. You're hurting for oxygen. I swear, if you die, it's because of your own stupidity, because we definitely have oxygen. Going to airlock. Way to go. Good job. If you die, then we're really screwed. Alright. You're going to airlock as well. So we'll let those two things queue up. What else do we have here? We have a dorm, which will, I will be attaching over here as kind of a residential side thing. We have a processing plant, so I'll build that probably right here. And that will handle ores and bioplastic, which are the two metal and bioplastic, I guess. Uh, convert to starch into bioplastic and ore into metal. The metal will be, the ore will be uh, obtained from a mine. The bioplastic will be obtained from starchy plants created in the biodome. Uh, medical sick bay, we need to look into that eventually. A lab, so we'll probably do a lab then a sick bay sort of deal. Okay, and then dorm. We will build probably two dorms eventually off of this. Probably one in this direction. I should probably make sure it fits. Oh yeah, we're good. And then, yep. So I'll probably build the dorm right here. But I want them to build this other stuff first. They can sleep inside here. They don't need beds right away. I'm sorry people, but no beds for you. Bed Nazi. Anyway, you need to go get oxygen, as do you. Don't be stupid. Going to airlock. There we go. I can't afford to lose people right off the bat. That would be quite horrible. Hello, little carrier bot. What else we got? This needs two metal, two bioplastic. To check the amount of resources we have. So, metal is definitely necessary. Let's queue one more structure, processing plant. I want to put that next. And I just want to build a large one. Seems like a mostly straight line, though I'm not happy with it. I want to keep everything... There we go. That looks pretty good. I'll just let things continue. I can expedite the game. 
Okay, now this can be built and then everything else should pop up right after that. So, as far as metal is concerned, two free metal. Oh boy. I am actually in that case going to cancel that. Hmm. I may have overbuilt, to be honest. But we'll see. So, definitely going to need a canteen shortly. We do have meals. We can cancel that one. So that should make a few more free metal. Going to need the biodome here shortly as well. Okay, we reached survival apparently. Keep things going. Oh yes, I can recycle the ship. That should give a lot more metal. Perfect. Compl almost forgot about that to be honest. So I'll need to let them move this metal first. I was wondering why I was short on resources. So this probably won't allow me to place a canteen over here again. Oh yeah, well, now lining things up will be a problem, of course. that. It's not quite straight. I'm being super picky about this. Yeah, it's probably pretty close. Alright. So where is the problem? Why is this low on oxygen? Hmm. I'm quite confused right now, actually. This is functioning. This is functioning. We have plenty of power. Oh, never mind. I guess we're... Oh, it probably is filling this up, which probably caused the decline. That's alright. Everything seems to be relatively... I'm going to do one more quick check before this is brought over. Can I still fit a dorm in there? Yes. Yes. Link that up. Okay. So that's kind of utilizing our space there. We should be all right now. This is just a, a sm No, it's a large biodome. Excuse me. So let that fill everything up. Let these guys... They're definitely getting thirsty. They need to hurry up and build this canteen. But they should be fine. This is only pending two metal, which are right there. And is one of these guys the engineer? That'd be great if it was. Perfect. So you can go ahead and start building this, right? Going to, well, you're going to go over and build that first while other resources are inbound for this, hopefully. At least I would hope so. Oh, this doesn't need any more resources. My bad. Apparently this is... I'm not sure... Oh, small or medium versus large connections. Alright. And you can finish that up please. Perfect. Now, getting... editing the contents of the structure to provide water, which is very important in this case, and food right away. Those two. I have to keep a careful eye on my meals up here. That's how many I brought with us from wherever we came from on the colony ship. But I need to start producing at least vegetables quite shortly here, or else we're going to rapidly run out of food. Now, vegetables grow far quicker than they would in reality, but that's just kind of to keep the game, the game flowing in a kind of a natural 
not too difficult sort of state. And that's finished up. Now out of the contents of this structure, I'm gonna build some fast growing. We have two biologists with. So we're gonna stick two fast growing things, three fast growing things. Some sort of starchy something. And let's see, what else do we want here? Some sort of just normal something. So two biologists should be able to handle well, five things. Shouldn't be too hard on them. They should definitely be capable of that. I want to prioritize, cannot prioritize in this structure. People are getting awfully thirsty. Can somebody please bring bioplastic to make the drinking fountain? Toggle the tops. I should not have queued actually those, these. I will unqueue these briefly. Water is presently more important than the rest of the stuff. Come on, somebody... I don't know where somebody carried that plastic. Hopefully this is... This plastic is going to... Storage. Can you please take it to make the drinking fountain? If everybody dies of dehydration, I'll be very mad. I can't actually control these guys. Which is quite unfortunate. Are you taking it? Drinking fountain, thank you! At least the medic knows the importance of water. Let's see. Is the engineer anywhere around? Are you the engineer? I can't tell. Yes, you are. Can you please turn around? And... Yes, drinking fountain. Now, can everybody please use the drinking fountain before you die? Are you gonna go to the... Yes, alright, people are using it. That's glorious. Now I'm just gonna let things... Speed things up. Hopefully nobody dies. Everybody's kind of queuing up to use the drinking fountain. Now they're tired. It's fine. Get the contents of this structure. Stick some beds in here. And... There. Stick one more in. Alright. Not everybody needs their own bed, but I'm going to put plenty in, just in case. Uh, we're eventually going to be getting more settlers, so... Heck of a place to sleep. Oh, you broke down. It's alright. Engineer will eventually repair you. Come on, people. I know you're tired, but you're, you're wasting the day right now. Seriously. Oh, I might as well let him get sleep. And the last thing I'm going to build here for this episode, out of the bases, I'm going to get a... Let's see. Let's get this actually put in. Oh, don't want that one. Even though I think I had just enough metal, a small processing plant is sufficient. And we're also going to stick in some more of these. I had a kind of a scare there with people dying of dehydration. Let's see, a starchy vegetable. And it's five. That should be easily enough handled by everybody. I know everybody's unhappy. 
It's fine. Should have plenty of bioplastic. Here, have a decorative plant. Have a video screen. And have a table. How's that sound? Jeez, everybody's sleeping and unhappy. Oh, they were awake for a few days, so I'll give them that. Oh, there's somebody who's up and at it. Okay. Are you... Yes, the biologist. Awesome. Now people are moving again. It's great. I guess everything's, you know, kind of back to normal now. Let things finish up. And with that, thank you for watching the very first episode of Planet Base. More space-related uh, content and stuff. Very short coming. Um, are coming up very shortly, I should say. I have a very interesting, hopefully, uh, trip I'm going on that will lead to some good content. And, of course, more Planet Base as well. So, thank you for watching, my awesome people. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.